everybody, welcome back to the shop. I'm Izzy, and today we're gonna to do something a little bit not normal, or out of the norm. We're gonna talk a little bit about product development. So one of the things that drives me absolutely insane are shop vacs, all right? Shop vacs come with wheels, they have a handle on them, and for the most part, there's usually a decent place to wrap the cord. But as far as managing all the bits and bobs, and hoses, there is just nothing for them. Now, if you're a tool company that happens to manufacture shop vacs and you're paying attention to this, if you want to dominate the industry, put a hose reel on your shop vacs and a decent place to hold all the accessories and you will outsell everybody else. In the meantime, today I am gonna develop a product for doing just that. So what I'm gonna to do today is walk you through designing a shop vac cart and a shop vac hose reel, things that can be separated. So you could use the hose reel somewhere else in the shop if you wanted to, or if you wanna put your shop vac on a cart, you can do that. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about product development and what I mean is, for this we have some parameters. We wanna be able to flat pack this in a box. It has to be kind of a DIY kit that can be manufactured, shipped to somebody at a reasonable price, and fairly easy to put together. So we're gonna walk a little bit through that. I'm gonna run some footage for you, and while we do that, I'll kind of talk over it and talk a little bit about product development and show you some pretty interesting products. So in today's video, I wanna kind of highlight the whole idea of product development. Take this gun, for instance. This is a gun from Omar, a nail gun from Omar that shoots composite nails. This is something that somebody like me who uses sheet goods on a CNC a lot, who doesn't have a hold down table, is a very handy tool to have. And it's a lot more affordable than a hold down system. So I can basically put a composite nail anywhere in the field that I'm routing. And I don't have to worry about the very expensive bits that I use running into screw heads. Just makes it really quick and easy. So great product. Now, I designed the first iteration of this cart and hose reel in SketchUp. Now, to take that from SketchUp, I need to be able to move it to another program, write the G-code that the CNC machine that I'm using will understand. Now, to do that, I'm using Vetric Aspire. And again, it's just another product. Somebody had an idea once that this product needed to exist, develop the product, and Bob's your uncle. I'm designing and building products with their products, which is kind of fun for me. That's, that makes things a little bit exciting when I really think about it. Now, for those of you who've been watching my show for the longest, know that I get the most excited when I'm developing something new and having fun with it. So this is another great product right here. This is called the Muscle Chuck. This is a quick chain system that you can put on any router, uh, full size, like one and a quarter horse router or bigger, or in this case, a CNC machine. And it makes changing router bits super duper fast. So instead of having two wrenches and traditional collets I have to mess with, I just have a one Allen wrench and I can loosen a, uh, an Allen head screw and pull out the bit. And I, through the use of uh, collets, I can go from an eighth inch to a half inch to a quarter inch to a three eighths bit really quickly. And I can put stop collars on this. So if I'm running a program that has three bits in it, I can set all of those programs to a Z0 with a stop collar and I don't have to re-Z zero my machine in the middle of a cut. I can just throw in the new bit and hit go and I'm moving right along. So great product. I'll put a link in the description box below for that if you guys are interested in checking that out. Now after I have the product designed or the first iteration of this, this cart designed and I have it cut out of the machine, I clean it up and I'm gonna take it over to the workbench and put it together. So this is part of that process and I know this makes, you know, sense to everybody and for most of you you understand this whole concept but this is a much smaller scale of product development for me it's just one guy in a garage messing around with a cnc machine now i am working with my friend uh, joel crawford from missing digit woodshop who does do production and we talked for about the last six or seven months about developing a, a business around flat packed products like this now the reason why let me put it as simply as i can is because we buy Baltic birch in massive quantities, we get a much better price on it. So let's say you wanted to build one of these yourself, which you can do, um, but let's say you wanted to make it out of something quality like Baltic birch, you literally couldn't go buy the Baltic birch for the price that we'll sell these for, just because we can get it at a much better rate because we buy very large quantities of it. So it just makes sense for us to try and mess around with some stuff like this. Now the idea here is that 
I want to build these things, in this case it's the cart and hose reel, that can snap together and be put together very easily in about 10 minutes. 10 minutes or less, that's kind of the thing. So it needs to fit in a 20 by 20 by 4 inch box. It needs to be able to be put together in 10 minutes or less. And it needs to make life a little bit easier for us. So in this case, I'm trying to make my own life easier because the shop vac stuff just drives me crazy. Now the first time around, this is just the first concept and I'm going to go through and put it together. I'm going to write down all the little things about it that I don't like, all the things that I do like, and kind of just get a real solid idea about how this is, how it feels to me. You know, and I'll probably use it for a few days before I start working on the next design. So in this case, I have the base of this holds the, the um, shop vac and you can do uh, all the little accessories in that upper tray that I'm building right now. And there's a little hole in the back for the hose to go through and the hose will go to the hose rail on the back. Now I am designing this so that you can use the wheels that come right off the shop vac so you don't have to go out and buy um, casters like I'm using here. Uh, so that's not going to be, uh, that won't be a thing. You can use casters if you want to use it like a higher, taller caster if you have rougher floors or whatever. But uh, for the most part, I'd like it to be as, as inexpensive to use as possible, and that just means reusing the casters that are already with the shop vac. So for the hose reel, it's real simple. It's two discs with a hole in the center, and then I'm going to use a large uh, Lazy Susan type bearing system to make the whole thing spin. Now I went through and painted mine because why not? So, <laughs> But again, the whole thing went together really easy, super quick. And uh, to be honest with you, this is the first iteration of it. I'm happy with it. There's a lot of things about this that I love and a few things about it that I want to change. And I'll do another video very shortly in a week or so with the final version of this and talk a little bit more about why I made those changes. And um, I'll show you where you can get them. Here you have it, obviously just a prototype. You're gonna work on the fit and finish of it, of course. And a lot of vacuums have a pretty decent cord management system at this point, but some of them don't. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave the cord management on here. It's one of those things you can add if your shop back doesn't have a good cord management or you can leave it off if it does. Uh, I, I think I wanna make the hose reel adjustable, a little bit more adjustable as far as height go, so it can match the port on whatever shop back you want and then you can turn the shop back towards it so you don't have this section of hose hanging out there. Um, aside from that, I'm pretty happy with it. Maybe throw a handle on here, I don't know. I don't really think it's necessary. It's pretty easy to grab a hold of right here. Uh, but it does store all the parts that you need. It's great to reel up the hose. This particular reel has is room for about 20, 25 feet of inch and a half hose. If you're using inch and a quarter, you could probably put close to 30 feet on it. I will probably make this just a touch smaller. Um, but that's it, and this will be available for sale on Joel's website, uh, missingdigitwoodshop.com, in just a few short days. So if you're interested, check it out. I'll put a link in the description box below when it does become available. And that's what we, and that's just a real short version of product development. You know, you have an idea, you try to fit it into the parameters of a certain thing, like shipping in this case was a big deal, and make it fairly easy to put together. And we met that criteria, now it's just a matter of tweaking it out and uh, Joel will start manufacturing these and putting them out in the world. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. We certainly appreciate it, or at least I do. And my mouse in the pocket doesn't really care. <laughs>